Our top news this week. The Airy Signature Prime lenses are now shipping with a behind-the-lens filter holder. Airy are bringing back the classic behind-the-lens filtration technology from the days of film with the latest range of large-format lenses. The Airy filter holder is magnetic and requires no tools in order to create all kinds of creative looks to soften the image or create a unique and distinctive bokeh pattern. Replicating the same background pattern is a lot easier with the Airy Signature Prime filter holder thanks to the included witness marks on the magnetic surface which make it easier for camera assistants to place the holders in the exact same direction on different lenses and thus keep consistency. NAB 2019 is coming up in less than 8 weeks and Cook Optics have already announced that they will be showing off some never before seen lenses from their S7i, Pancro Classic and Anamorphic Full Frame Plus range. Cook will also present the latest version of its Slash Eye Technology metadata system that provides lens data to VFX and post-production teams. Dubbed the Slash Eye 3 or simply Eye Cubed, the latest version will support distortion mapping for specific lenses used and the Sony Venice large format camera will be one of the first cinema cameras to support the new technology. Free Solo has not only grossed over 16 million at the box office in cinemas across the US, but last Sunday it also took the Oscar for Best Documentary. Shot on the Canon C300 Mark II camera paired with various Canon CNE primes, Free Solo is a stunning portrait of rock climber Alex Honnold and his quest to climb the formidable El Capitan in Yosemite National Park without any ropes or harnesses. Capturing the thrilling climb was no easy feat and the directing duo often relied on the Canon CN17 CineZoom, which thanks to its generous 17 to 120 mm range, offered the crew of experienced climber cinematographers the much needed variety of focal lengths for pleasing cinematic images. That's it for this week, we'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.